Good morning, everyone. It's Wynn Brown here on Tuesday the 21st for our morning update for Haywood Healthcare and COVID-19. First, a big thank you to Don Casavan, who yesterday stood in for me uh, doing the update for the day, and I appreciate her being the Nora O'Donnell who can uh, fill in and, uh, and deliver the regular report for everyone. Uh, just a reminder that we on the weekends are now going to a single report on uh, Saturday, Sunday, yesterday being a holiday. We also did that as a single report as well, and we're back to two times a day now. Uh, first on testing, we have tested a total of 1,666 inpatients and outpatients, 1,298 negative, no result uh, detected. Uh, and then 274 positives along with 15 indeterminates for a 17.4% uh, rate, uh, positive rate. And so that seems to be, we seem to be sitting in the mid 17 percentage. Uh, the state still sits above 23% at 23.4%. We're also working on some, some graphs for everyone. The state has come out with some new data and Rose Kavalchuk on our team is putting together some graphs that better reflect our region and we'll, I'll try to share those some of those with you tonight so you can get a sense of where we are in this pandemic regionally. Statewide, uh, a total of 169,398 have been tested, just under 40,000 positive, so that's where that comes from. Uh, in uh, Across the state, uh, 1,809 uh, confirmed deaths or a 4.6% of all confirmed cases. Franklin County's edged up to 187 cases and here in Worcester County, 3,179 cases. At Haywood today on Watkins 1, we have eight positive patients, two of whom are in our ICU, uh, and eight patients under investigation, two of whom are also in our I ICU. We do not currently have any COVID positive patients on, on ventilators, and that has been something we've been able to maintain. Uh, this week is also Medical Laboratory Professionals Week. So as you know from these reports, our lab is incredibly important to the work we're doing during this pandemic. And I just wanna follow up on Carol Rosa, our Chief Operating Officer, who put a, a, a nice email out to all the staff today. Uh, Carol, the, the lab actually reports up to Carol. And so Dan French and his team are doing a great job in playing a vital role in everything that we're doing. So just a highlight of some of the things we're doing to celebrate National Laboratory Week. Uh, so today's treat was cider, uh, donuts, coffee for the lab from uh, Red Apple Farm. Uh, ice cream cake and ice cream and cake uh, for the lab uh, coming up. Uh, pastries uh, are coming in tomorrow, being uh, donated by Sandy Wilshire in our lab. The Ale House is providing lunch on Wednesday or Friday of this week, and the whole hospital or the whole health system is getting uh, Domino's pizza on Thursday at at, at at all of Haywood. So thank you to the Domino's folks uh, for that and Pete's Tire Barn that is supporting that in the Athol area. Uh, Kathy Graves has made a big face mask uh, flag for us to all sign, and that is in the Haywood boardroom. And I encourage everybody on the Haywood campus to bring their own pen and stop by the boardroom and uh, sign that, and we'll display that. Um, also, reminder that uh, we've been delivering Haywood Strong Apparel, Athol Strong Apparel, and though you can still order that. I put another order in today, and that is being delivered. Uh, three thank yous today, uh, one to the M&A for delivering about 100 KN95 masks to Haywood Hospital, uh, Sherry Hilton from Winchenden and Sandy Gosselin from Phillipston for helping sew our new isolation gowns, and Karen Osterberg from KROs on the Common in Templeton delivered baked goods to the Haywood ER today. So people in our community continue to step up for us and, and support us in the work that we're doing as we're continuing our journey to be one of the best community-owned health systems in America. I'll get back to you tonight with an update, let you know how the day went, and I appreciate everything everyone's doing to keep us strong, safe, and well. Have a great day.